<laughs> what? I wasn't ready for that. Oh, oh my god, I love that. I love that. I love that. Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucen. I'm a music producer and songwriter, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to the bonus tracks from Red. Taylor's version, I'm so excited. Red is my, maybe my favorite, I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Okay, so these days are so exciting because not only is Taylor getting control of her own music, she is also giving us these songs that were taken off back in the day and now are being re-released for us to get the full experience of the album, unfiltered. These are the songs that got cut, but as we saw with Fearless Taylor's version, there were some great bonus songs from The Vault on that one as well. It's like Mr. Perfectly Fine is such a bop. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to, to what we've got to hear. So my original plan was to do my main reaction today to be the All Too Well video, but that's not actually coming out until midnight now. So I'm gonna put this up and and then I'm gonna stay up till midnight, I'm gonna record my All Too Well short film reaction, and I'm gonna edit it and put it up immediately. So if you want to, to see my reaction to the All Too Well short film, then make sure to come back to the channel. It's probably gonna be like, I reckon two or 3 a.m. UK time, <laughs> uh, lol. So yeah, if you wanna see my reaction to that, make sure to come back to the channel then. Or if you're not watching this live, then I'll leave a link. <laughs> But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And also give it give it a like because that really helps it in the algorithm and really helps it do well. And if you fancy, I'm a songwriter and a music producer myself. I actually put out a song recently called Criminal. So if you wanted to support me, then you can uh, stream that wherever you want to stream it. The link is in the description. It's been such a long time since I've, since I've done Taylor. You Swifties are the reason that this channel is what it is now. So thanks for that. <laughs> and now I'm such a massive Swiftie, like I'm like all on the conspiracy theories and stuff. And <laughs> and like Taylor Swift's like my top listened artist every month and it's because of you guys getting me into her. So yeah, I'm so excited for this and I'm so glad I've got more Taylor content for you. Yay, Taylor. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Okay, my Red Taylor's version uh, vinyl is on order in the post. So it would be so good if it came today. I'll be so happy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Something is coming the post. <laughs> okay, so song number one, this is Ronin. I remember you little laugh, mm, cute. Plastic dinosaurs. Oh, so it's back kid. This is lovely. I love the, the simplicity of the electric guitar. Then jumping on me, waking me up. Oh. I can still you fought it hard like an army guy. Oh my god. Is this about like a sick kid? We were gonna fly away <gasps> my best for years. Oh. So wait. Crying and screaming flowers pile up in the worst way. Oh no. Beautiful boy who died. <laughs> it's about to be What? Oh my god. If you are still here. So, oh my god. We'll just disappear. This is so sad. <gasps> oh my god. My best for you. Oh my god. What the f that's so sad. I wasn't ready for this. Trying to talk to you. Oh my god. And kept the handy downs you won't go into. And what if I Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> and she's like whispering in his ear and saying, we can just forget about what's going on. We're just gonna live in our little fantasy for now while we can. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what the hell? I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Jesus. Like I had read something about her like making it for the for the mother of this um young boy, but I didn't hear about like it literally be about him dying and it her writing this story from the mum's perspective. 
Jesus Christ, that is so, so sad. She's just such a beautiful songwriter in the story. She's just such an incredible storyteller. She did the same thing there that she did with, like, with All Too Well and I Almost Do and all of those songs, you know, where she tells this story in a very frank way, but builds in all the tiny little details to really just hammer this home and to really make the story seem alive and real and it means that it just connects you to the song on such a deep level the perspective of of this woman who is whispering into her son's ear you know we'll fly away from here and we'll have like a beautiful like just fantasy whilst you're sick because we know that it's not going to end well and like this woman who's just lost in the fantasy of that and just looking back and saying actually those were the best four years of my life <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God. Of course, I'm crying for Taylor's version as well as the original. It's the details of, like, standing in the cupboard, like, trying to, like, connect her, to, connect to the, to this, to her son, keeping all the hand-me-downs that he won't ever grow into and stuff. That's kind of the stuff that we go through when we go through grief. And although obviously Taylor hasn't, like experience that distinct feeling you can you can sense her relating her own dealings with grief and making this very personal song that feels like it's written for the mother to have some sort of catharsis and some sort of like beautiful memory so we've already been weeping today <laughs> it's 11 a.m <laughs> oh bloody hell <laughs> let's come to the next song jesus king christ taylor swift i love you so much let's go on to song number two this is better man mm. Sounds a bit more optimistic. I love these guitars. Like panned guitars, it really kind of gives it this sense of stereo. Yeah, looking back and reflecting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is beautifully recorded. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Am I gonna cry the whole way through this? Oh, I just wish you were a better man. Oh, this is like a really good kind of like follow on from like All Too Well and I Almost Do, isn't it? Like another reflection on this relationship, reminiscing, you know? Oh, always on, yeah, I relate to that, huh? I love the melody and the recording of it and it's just beautiful. Oh, yes miss you and I just wish you were a better man <laughs> so good <laughs> oh. Oh. I gave you my best and we know you you can't say that back because actually oh god uh, just <laughs> yeah really hitting it home Yeah. What could we have had if have you just been better? Oh, feeling. Yeah. This is such a good song. I can understand why they might have cut it, because there's a lot of ballads on the album, right? But it's a shame, isn't it, that we're only hearing it now. Yeah. Love it. Fab. Oh, just what a classically beautiful ballad really really nicely written it's the kind of song that like feels like it always was on red do you know what i mean like it just fits in so beautifully with the storyline and with and like sonically and i just love this continuation of this heartbreak that she has where she's looking back at like all the good stuff that they had and wishing that like the good stuff wasn't that good because like actually it just makes you think well what could we have had you know and that is what she's lost in in this song is like what could we have had had you just been better and i love the red the whole album goes from like looking at what it was before you know the treacherous the state of grace to 
the actual kind of moments where it all goes downhill, like um, the moment I knew the rest of the songs on Red that are about the relationship are then looking back at what, what they had and having these different kind of almost feelings of um, grief, like letting go of this relationship. And then this song, Better Man, just slots perfectly into that kind of storyline. Maybe before the point uh, in Holy Ground where she's like, what we had was really good. Maybe this would be my official order of listening. <laughs> okay, let's go on to song number three. This is Nothing New with Phoebe Bridges who I reacted to back at the beginning of the year, actually. They tell you while you're young mm. Then they hunt and slay the one Should oh. do it? So this is something to do with feminism, huh? When you soar into the sky Yeah, the way in which people attack women when they actually do go out and have fun and do their thing. What will become of me Once I lost my novelty Wow. What will become of me when I lose, lose my novelty? How can a person know everything at 18 but nothing at 22? <laughs> oh, isn't that relatable, huh? When I'm nothing new. Wow. Like a kind of comment on how women kind of are judged when they get older. Phoebe. Biding time until I lose your attention. Wow. Feeling like they're only valued when they're young. So true and real, isn't it? You know? Yeah, wow. Growing up to breaking down. I felt the same way at 22. Jesus Christ. Wow. The mood of this one is really kind of dreamlike, isn't it? Hazy, like the lost in a daze, you know? And I can feel time moving at 22. I love the like mixture of Taylor and Phoebe's voice there. The way they've mixed it, it's like their voices have merged in and it sounds really nice, like the combination. Wow. Oh, God, that ending shit. I love how Taylor, when there's a song that doesn't feel like it has a conclusion, like emotionally, she doesn't conclude it musically. Like lesser songwriters would feel the pressure to put like a resolving chord on the end. But she did it with uh, Right Where You Left Me. It's that same kind of thing where Right Where You Left Me had no resolution because this person hadn't managed to move on. Her and Phoebe are feeling as if as they grow up, their value as a woman in society depreciate and that is such a kind of it's a real thing that like is starting to change I think but like women are considered old when they're over 30 they're considered has-beens it's awful like when they were 17 18 they felt like they were treated like they were special like they were fresh shiny things and now that they're 22 they're like oh, they already feel like they're over the hill which is the most ridiculous thing isn't it but then the other side of that um, something I relate to and actually feeling like you know everything when you're 18 and then knowing nothing at 22 and um, what was it I felt like I was growing up and then I've broken down you know um, and I think that when you get to your early 20s and you're kind of let out on your own it's a really really difficult time for so many people me and my friend Rian were talking about this like for me it was like finish university at 21 and suddenly you have to go into a job you're not unique you're, you don't have all these things that like made you feel safe made you feel like you're part of something and I had like one of the worst years of my life that year in some ways and yeah so I really relate to that feeling a really good song and Phoebe sounds beautiful on it as well oh red 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 let's go on to Two, song number four. I can't believe we're only on song number four. Song number four. This is Babe. Ooh. Ooh, we got a slightly poppier one. One. <laughs> Another part of this relationship story. Ugh. Maybe this is more like in the relationship, like faced with the reality of the breakup and saying, how could you do this? What about all the promises you made me? It's the last time I'll ever call you babe. I like that, it's nice. Letting go of that kind of pet name, letting go of the relationship. It's giving me like um, Natasha Bedingfield vibes. You were the wrecking ball, very good. 
I like the, like, the layering up of like different hooks. It's definitely giving me that noughties vibe. Here we go from the middle eight. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Here we go with the middle eights. I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this. Oh, I swear every song from this era is just so good, apart from Stay, Stay, Stay. <laughs> I don't know how Stay, Stay, Stay made it onto the album and some of these didn't. Just saying. <laughs> Love it. I think I'm actually going to make a playlist that's like the red love story in order. Yeah. Me. <laughs> middle eight. Just like she just knows how to do a middle eight. And it was just what that song needed. Like nice. But then the middle eight just gives it that extra place for it to go. Gives it that extra emotional intensity. Yeah. Absolutely great. Yeah. It levels up a song to bring it to somewhere that's, a, that's more than just this is a nice song but to something special it's part of this red tapestry you know it's part of that relationship it's another moment of this relationship where she's realizing this is the last time that i'm actually going to call you by this pet name you know it's a moment of strength though because she's definitely kind of coming out of it being like nope this is the last time i'm going to call you babe kind of drawing a line under it i just love that this album like now it just feels even more fully fleshed out of this whole relationship although obviously like the album does go to other places i think that's kind of the key storyline really isn't it if you want to check out my reactions to the original red album i did the red deluxe version reaction like a year and a half ago honestly it was like such a big day in my life <laughs> you can check out that video i'll leave the link for that cool let's go on this is on number five this is message in a bottle oh okay was expecting a club banger this is giving me Carly Rae vibes. Love it. Beautiful melody. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, I hope that you get the message that you might be the one, you know. I love the vibe of this one. This is so fun. Just giving me like, um, yeah, Carly Rae, Our City vibes. Very 80s, isn't it? I wonder if she wrote this for Carly Rae. This was the similar time to Call Me Maybe, actually, wasn't it? It's so Carly Rae. I wanted to hear Carly Rae do a cover. <laughs> oh, I love a pop song like this, you know? It's kind of like romantic dream pop, you know? Ooh, it's about Joe. <laughs> Be quite early on. I wonder if this is about the same relationship or a new one. Expecting this kind of song, actually. Oh, God, Taylor, I fucking love you. <laughs> I'm such a Swifty now, like, proper. <laughs> actually, giving me similar to. Um, have you heard Silk Chiffon by uh, Muna? Is it Muna? And Phoebe Bridges. Similar energy, kind of this kind of noughties hot ballad energy, you know. It's very current actually to kind of be going back to that place. Love that. Maybe like Taylor kind of had written this song before and then kind of thought this is my opportunity to be part of the current movement of this kind of noughties inspired pop because there's a lot of that going on right now. Like Olivia Rodrigo, is, she's a little bit more on the punk side, like Paramore, but like that era is get, is having a comeback in music. And I feel like maybe this is Taylor's version of like, this is Taylor's version. <laughs> Taylor's version of that. <laughs> I love an upbeat, poppy song like that. And it is very Carly Rae. And I think that like, Kyra Rae Jepsen is one of those artists who's really underappreciated. She writes some brilliant pop songs and, uh, and this was giving me a kind of a similar energy. And yeah, it's really nicely written. Yeah, love it, cool. Okay, let's go on to song number six. This is I Bet You Think About Me with Chris Stapleton. This is definitely gonna be another post-relationship maybe Jake Gyllenhaal thing. By the way, Jake Gyllenhaal is the love of my life, so don't you dare come for him. <laughs> He's the most beautiful man and really doesn't give a shit and a bit of a weirdo, and I love that too. Anyway, let's go on to the next song. 2am, 3am, 3am, I'm 4am now. It's better than mine. Better. <laughs> oh, country, here we go. <laughs> The meaning of life 
Yeah. Yeah. Feeling like she's not part of the kind of upper circles. Yeah, love it. Proper country ballad, hey. I was raised on a farm From different worlds, you know, and she felt like she never fit in. And you and I fell like an early spring snow. Oh, I love that. Mr. Superior. Right. you never be happy. Oof, I love that. Oh, it's, I love the melody of it. I love the swaying and the movement of it. It's really lovely. Why did you? Yeah, like the end of uh, All Too Well, isn't it? The love that you had Yeah Scared to get old That shit mattered Cause you were with me Yeah But now that we're done and it's over I'm It kind of feels like she's building up her own confidence in this, isn't it? This you think about yeah. me she goes down to a place in some of the songs in the album where she loses all of her self-confidence because of what happened with this relationship and this is kind of her coming out the other side, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the indie music that you think's much cooler than mine, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote more than one. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's insane. I, I love the self-referential humour there. That's great. I just love how all these vault tracks are just filling out this love story even more. I'm so, like, I need it. Get, give it all to me. Um, <laughs> another unique perspective on the relationship. Another moment post-relationship where she's, yeah, coming out the other side, giving herself a bit more confidence, building herself up a bit more and saying maybe to herself, actually it doesn't really matter whether he is uh, thinking about her. I think it was probably important for her in that moment to tell herself, you're not alone in this. He will also be upset about this breakup um, and you deserve to be like lamented over, you know? It's that, that feeling. Yeah, which is actually such a nice part of this like really filling in the story of this relationship. Part of me feels actually like I would have preferred her to not have the songs that weren't about the relationship and actually was replace them with all these so that Red originally was just this relationship. Like for me, that would have been such a kind of tight album, you know? But yeah, that's how I would have done it. But that's just me. I guess Crystal Stapleton is a country singer. You have to let me know. The other side of the song is then about her kind of never feeling like she could fit into his life. She grew up like very humble beginnings and made her own fortune. But she didn't grow up in that world, so she feels almost like an alien. So it's again more like her building herself up, saying actually, you know, it's not all your fault. A lot of what happened was because of him. Did anyone get the door? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The, the door, doorbell just went, look. Look what just came. Something is coming the post. <laughs> yes. You're getting an unboxing video today. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it's actually come on the day. I was a bit worried it was gonna take ages to come. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys. <laughs> I can't believe it came whilst I was filming! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! I'm gonna do like a TikTok, like, everything that's inside of it thing, which I'll film today and put up as well. It'll be on YouTube Shorts as well. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put it on the background. Let me just... Oh my god! <laughs> I love the album art for this. This is literally the best timing in the fucking world. Red Taylor's version. Oh! <gasps> I've got the back cover. It's really heavy. <laughs> it really is red day today, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> yes, as if it came whilst I was filming the bloody reaction. That is so good. I can't believe that. I'm gonna text Claire. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to song number seven. This is Forever Winter. Mmm, nice. Mmm. <laughs> He says he doesn't believe why I fall in love Just so you can watch it go away mm. He spent most of his flights getting pulled down by gravity He didn't know Ugh Ugh 
Ach. 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 Ach, mein Gott. Ach, das ist so nice. Ach, beautiful. Oh, maybe this is another guy. Yeah. I love this. This is so nicely written. I didn't know that you were breaking dime down. You'd hidden it from me. And then I went to c c check up on you. And it was the middle of the night. 5 a.m. Just say 5 a.m. She's going through all the times. <laughs> yeah, like, and he is actually breaking up. And now she's like, didn't realize, you know. Oh. Love it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, too young to know it gets better. Without you in my life, it'll be a forever winter. I wonder who she's singing to. Maybe it's a family member. Does she have siblings? Oh, I love this. Oh. I say believe in one thing, I won't go away. Ugh, oh, being there for someone. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. I love that. That might be one of my favourite ones on there, actually. Just for the melody and the like the arrangement of it, I think is wonderful. Let me have a little look at the lyrics so I can maybe figure out a little bit more what that was about. Oh <laughs> yeah, I could just get the lyrics here. <laughs> He's up 3 a.m. pacing, he says, it's not just a phase I'm in. Maybe it's a friend going through a breakup. All this time I didn't know you were breaking, breaking down. I'd fall to pieces on the floor if you weren't around. Too young to know it gets better. I'll be summer sun for you forever. Forever winter if you go. So maybe like a friend is like going through something really heavy and she's worried for this worried for this friend and kind of saying you know I will be there for you I just didn't know like you'd been putting on a brave face and I had no idea that you were going through this and you were supporting me and actually all this time I wasn't aware but now I'm telling you I will be there for you forever because if you weren't here it would be forever winter for me you're that important to me maybe she's looking at how this friend supported her throughout her breakup and kind of thinking I couldn't be there for him during that moment I was so wrapped up in my own heartbreak that I couldn't be there for him and I didn't know that he was actually going through something really really heavy so she's kind of trying to rectify that I'll be the summer sun shining for you forever you're that important to me i love that that's beautiful i pull at every thread trying to solve the puzzles in his head live my life scared to death he'll decide to leave instead so she's actually yeah she is alluding to his potential suicide i think i call just checking up on him and he's up at 5 a.m wasted long gone not even listening he's spiraling and she didn't know about it i think she's feeling guilty if i was standing there with you i'd take that bomb and i'd disarm it i'd say i'd love you even at your darkest and Please don't go. She, it's, like, it's like she's trying to talk him off the cliff. So it really does allude to something much darker for her friend. And that just gives it such an extra layer of depth and meaning and beauty, actually. He says, I don't believe in anything much these days. I say, I be believe in one thing. I won't go away. I love how she brings back that first line, turns it round at the end and really sums it all up. I, will ne I'll, I won't ever go away. I'll be there forever for you. Amazing. <sighs> I love that beautiful that one's going on my current vibe playlist i actually have a spotify playlist going if you haven't followed it already which is basically like the songs that are really inspiring me at the moment it's basically it's just going to be like a small tapestry of what i'm listening to at the moment so if you want to check that out the link's in the description you can follow it if you like let's go on to song number eight run with ed sheeran the other ed sheeran song that they wrote together one two three there he is <laughs> oh finger picky Love that. Harmony's lovely. Let's run away from here. Oh, that's what it's going to be. Mm, the driving again, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. In the getaway car. Elope. That's the, that's the song, isn't it? Nice. I feel like this really does merge the talents of Taylor and Ed. So you laugh like a child. Mm. To give me a reason. Don't say no, there's a heart on your sleeve. I 
I love this romantic song of them actually saying, being so in love that they'll actually run away together. It's lovely, isn't it? It kind of feels like a dream song though, in a sense, doesn't it? Like a moment in time where you kind of live out that fantasy in your head. It's a little bit simple though. I'd like for it to go somewhere else. I could do with a middle eight right now. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. This is nicely written, but I can understand maybe why this one was cut, because I think that maybe everything has changed has a bit more about it, you know. Yeah, that's nice. I think nice is the word, isn't it? Like, it's kind of a similar criticism that I had of a lot of the ballads on Ed's album, is that like, that one, although I like the story of it, it didn't, I didn't feel like it went far enough for me. And maybe it's a little bit simple and a little bit like not necessarily doing anything new. I thought it was a nicely written song. I like the harmonies. Their voices sound beautiful on it. I feel like if you were to play in the background, it would be like, mm. but they're not the songs that get me going crazy. It's the, the all too wells that get me going crazy. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I hate to break it to you, but I'm actually going to save the all too well 10 minute version for the short film. I want this this short film to be completely fresh. I want to be experiencing the new lyrics and the visuals at the same time. Um, so I'm going to save it, but I am going to be doing my reaction to that later on tonight. So keep an eye out for that. It might be, by the time you're watching this video, it might already be out. So make sure to head over to my channel and check. So before we go into the final song, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you've got this far in the video, then you must be liking this stuff. So yeah, you click subscribe, support the channel. I'm almost at 12,000 subs. Let's try and get to 12,000 today. How exciting. Yeah, the channel's still going up and up and I'm just so happy about that. So thank you so much for Swifties especially. Thank you so much for your support so far. Like you are the reason the channel is where it is. So if you're a Swiftie and you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do. <laughs> um, and check out all my old videos as well if you're new here. Yeah. The only one I haven't done is Taylor Swift's original album. And that's because I thought that she was going to go in order when she did the Taylor's version, but she hasn't even talked about that one yet. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and if she doesn't announce it next then I'll go back and do that reaction. I've done everything else from fearless to lover. Let's go on to the last song then. This is song number nine. This is the very first night. God it sounds really romantic doesn't it? Oh. Nice. I'll take you back in time. Oh. And so it goes. <laughs> oh my god okay. Oh, driving. It's all got all the Taylor Swiftisms. Oh. Oh, I love it. Like an extension of holy ground, you know. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Oh, the refrigerator light. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's just so beautifully romantic, isn't it? The melody is so lovely and I love the fast pace of it. Pace of it. It's kind of got that kind of country-esque ding 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 kind of vibe. Yeah. Oh, for a chord. Ugh, oh, I love this. This is a really nice kind of finale, isn't it, you know? Ugh. Oh. Love it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a really nice finale, actually, because it really was more of the, the holy ground vibe where she's like looking back at the relationship and kind of wishing that she could go back because it was just so beautiful, but it's happy. It's not melancholy. She's not regretting not being able to go back. She's just living in that fantasy um, and just appreciating it, you know? I love that this, this song has such a wistful, romantic, nostalgic vibe to it. And it, it, and this these new tracks just add onto that even more. You know, they just build up 
even further this tapestry, as I said, of, of this romance and of this feeling that she was going through. I'm just so appreciative that we get to actually really experience Red, the full, every minute feeling of it. Like, these songs were cut, but weren't they just so good? Oh my god, beautiful. Like, honestly, if I were to list my favourites, it's most of them. You know, like Ronan, me, better man, amazing, nothing new, very good, babe, good, message in a bottle, really good, I bet you think about like me, love it, forever winter, oh my god, amazing, very first night, really good. So yes, they're all my favourites, <laughs> but I'd probably say my absolute tops were definitely forever winter, better man and Ronan. I'm so glad that we get in these Taylor's versions and that she's actually giving us all the, the vault stuff. It's amazing, I love it. It's more Taylor Swift content, but like for me, it's like more Taylor Swift content from the era, which is one of my absolute favorites. And it's not let us down, it's really fulfilled that. It's really lived up to its potential. Absolutely love it. Oh, okay, I better get on. I need to edit this video and get it out so I can get ready to react all too well tonight. So yes, make sure to come back. It'll be the early morning for me, lol. For my reaction to the all too well short film, I will be putting up as soon as I get it done. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Also make sure to come back to the channel next week. If you're a fan of Adele, I'll be doing a day one reaction to 30. Okay. So my song of the week this week, considering I talked about Carly Rae earlier, let me pick a Carly Rae song. One of my favourite Carly Rae songs is Cut to the Feeling. So th this was a single and you might have heard it, but for me, it's like the epitome of that early dating, wanting to actually get to the good stuff. You know, I want depth of relationship. I want to fall in love. I want romance. And, and I just love how she puts it. I want to cut to the feeling. I want to cut to the chase and have the beauty and the romance and everything. It just speaks to me on such, like, on such a deep level. <laughs> She's fab. If you want to check out the Cut to the Feeling, I will add it to my Song of the Week playlist, which is, the link is in the description. Cool. Thank you so much for tuning in to the end. I will see you later tonight for the All Too Well short film reaction. Make sure to come back to the channel for that, or make sure to watch it now if it's already up. Lol. Cool. Bye.